the performance things that you want to do at the minimum the baseline that you should know one is that um chats chats cause cpu spikes so let me show you so i'm in the reason i'm connected to 8222 is because of uh spikes from chatting let me go to tr let me go to global one and i'm gonna enable it and here i'm not gonna move the mouse because that also changes cpu spiking just watch the bar on the top right when a chat comes in see how there's a little spike there see how there was a little spike here and if if you're in let's say trade one like let's say it's super super uh uh active in both of them you're gonna see a lot of a lot of spikes now it's late at night it's 4 a.m so there's not that much chatting happening apparently but you can see there there was a trade oh another trade and there's always a little tiny spike in the cpu graph every time it happens and I think like it just gets worse the more chat logs are being saved or something. The problem is that even when you mute these two, the game is still tracking the information. So you can see, I'm not moving the mouse or anything, and you can see the numbers going up on both of them, um, on global and trade because of, you know, messages and you can see there's another spike in the CPU graph that just showed up when there was a post in the global. So yeah, those CPU spikes, it didn't help when there was a lot, like a lot going on in your game, in your map. See, there was another chat and trade and global, two more spikes on the CPU graph, two more little spikes. I think they have improved it a little bit because it used to be a lot worse, but I've also optimized my CPU a lot. Anyway, again, this is the whole thing where even when these are muted, see how there's another uh, chat in global and trade, and there's more spikes. I'm not touching anything right now. I'm not touching anything on my computer or in the game or anything. I have not touched the mouse this whole time. And you can see like this big spike here was from a trade chat. So you would want to go to you would want to go to, again, like, even when they're muted and turned off, it still tracks and, keep, and keeps a track of it in the background as if you had it open, and that causes CPU spikes. So that's why you go to, like, trade whatever, global whatever, something where people aren't chatting in, and then you can go clear, and then now suddenly you don't really get those trade chat spikes anymore. The second thing that you're going to want to do is go to sound, channel count low and then you disable the reverb for some reason these are just like copy pastas from poe one and they cause a lot of uh cpu uh issues and bottlenecks the third thing is is a premium program or at least um an external program called process lasso i love this program i paid for the the uh permanent license the the premium license it's a program that lets you set that lets you set processes to specific CPU cores. So you can see that I have Path of Exile on cores 0 to 15 because I have a 7950X, I have 32 cores. So my Path of Exile is set to specifically use the first set. And then you can see my Firefox is on my second core or like my second CCD. Uh, my Discord is on my second CCD. And if OBS would show up because it's still populating, because I'm streaming right now, you'd see that OBS, there it is, is on my second CCD. This is an amazing program in general, not just for Path of Exile in general. So you can really like fine tune what cores um, your different programs are using. So let's say, and like you can really get in depth with these things as well. So here, like I could select like, oh, I actually only use like zero, three, seven if I needed to. Like you can actually get into it. So it only uses very specific cores. <laughs> and this is a very powerful tool. Uh, I don't know how much you can do in the free one. 
but I again like I said I like supporting I like supporting good software and especially especially um, you know one time purchase not software as a license but it is a it is an affordable lifetime license I paid for it and that was it there is a CPU limiter as well but only on the premium keep running yes Anyway, they still have, even on the free one, if you want to give it a try, they do have CPU affinities and priorities. So this is really good. This is really good. Would give this a try. Do they have a Linux version? Ooh, I mean. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. There might be something similar for Linux, but not specifically from Bitsum. So anyway, very much recommend you try Process Lasso if you're on Windows. Uh, this has made a big difference, especially if you have all the other stuff running in the background. Made a huge difference with PoE, because PoE has a lot of just CPU binding, apparently. So having, uh, making sure that all of those other programs are not conflicting with P the cores that PoE is really relying on, is pretty nice and it could be used in other games as well too so anyway i paid for my premium license for that uh and those are the three big things that i would highly recommend that you do if you're having cpu issues uh with path of exile which tends to be probably the bulk of people's issues with the game i've had so many people ask me glitch how are how are you getting your your frames so much smoother how are you getting your, like, why is it so much smoother? Like, they're watching the simulacrum video and stuff. And, yeah. So, those are the things that I did with the first CPU. Because I noticed that, especially when I was getting a lot of lag and stutter, it was almost 100% CPU based. Obviously, if you have network issues, that's a whole different story. You'll see those network spikes. But, uh, getting the CPU to not be bottlenecked as much is a big driver to performance anyway hopefully that helps it is past 4 a.m i will actually upload that to youtube 